So how did this project come about? Tell me a little bit about your collaboration together. Um, we got contacted by Disney. Yeah, they mm -hmm. reached out Brigham to was one of the first people to reach out to us. Yeah. And uh, they were very excited about Janelle's work and the work that Wonderland had done overall in terms of the music space and also the work that Janelle had done in the film space. And so um, they kind of approached us with arms wide open. And they said that they would love to have the producers who have worked with me um, throughout these years, Nate and Roman, mm -hmm. do the music. They were like, we've listened to all of you guys' work. We feel like this is the one. Let us know what you want to do. It's open. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So generally speaking, how would you describe the music in Lady and the Tramp? And why has it stood the test of time? It's, it does classic songs. You know? Classics. Uh, you're talking about Bella, Bella Note. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, you're talking about <laughs> He's, He's a, a Tramp. tramp. Yeah. Uh, you know, Peggy Lee yeah. Uh, yeah. and her collaborators, they, they really created some classic songs. So. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we, I got an opportunity to put my mom on my version of He's yeah, a Tramp. Yeah, yeah. So she grew up watching Lady and the Tramp. So to have like generations of generations a part of of um, the songs we've recorded is amazing. When we recorded Bella Notte, uh, when the orchestra recorded Bella Notte, um, after they finished the first take, the uh, instrumentalists all put down their instruments and clapped for themselves. They did. Mm. And it was a very special moment, but to speak to what you're asking, it just showed how classic that song yeah. is and how timeless it was and how it just gave everybody like a real moment of just like, chills just to really be involved with something so special. Yeah. yeah. Now let's talk about the classic song, He's a Tramp. Mm -hmm. What elements did you want to maintain and which elements did you add your own spin on? I wanted that ashiness to stay on the throat. <laughs> um, Peggy, you know, Lee, and when she was Peg, when I saw Lady in the Tramp, sassiness was there. Mm -hmm. Cool was there. Mm -hmm. It had to be cool and I think that was that was my North Star. It was like, keep it cool. Yeah. yeah. Describe your process when writing and producing a song. The process starts with um, looking at a blank space, having lots of doubt. <laughs> freaking out. Yeah. Freaking yes. out, and then just remembering that it is you who's going to have to ultimately finish this, so you might as well go ahead and try. Yeah. yeah. Get us some, get some shots up. Yep. And the wonderful thing was, we got a chance to meet with uh, the chief archivalist yes. at, at Disney. His name is Booker. Booker White. That was yes. cool. And he uh, invited us in, and we got a chance to see all the, uh, not only the original copies of the music, yeah. but also like a lot of the original drafts. All mm -hmm. the sheet music. So like six or seven stuff. versions of, you know, He's a Tramp or yes. of uh, the Cat mm. Song yes. or whatever yes. it is. And yeah. you see how their process is of marking things out and changing the lyrics and yes. adding a stanza or taking something away. So it made it feel like, oh, they went through this same process. Yeah, mm. yeah. Nobody knows what You're they're doing. You're not alone. Very cool. Mm -hmm. um, what a Shame is a new song. What is the song about? And how would you describe the style and approach of your performance? Oh, um, <laughs> say the, yeah, what the song is about, um, the irony of making a mess and then <laughs> turning to it's your, so good. turning to it's yourself so and, you know, yeah. seem like, oh, what a shame. And we just really thought that was so funny just yeah. as we started like, you know, laughing through the process. It was like, this is just ridiculous. And yeah. it was funny. Yes, we laughed a lot. That was the process of making that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I laughed watching them yes, as yeah. the cats. Like, I was like, you angry little <laughs> kitten mittens. Yes. So That's Enough is another new song. Uh huh. What is that song about, and how would you describe that style and approach of that performance? Well, that song mm. is, is really, it was meant to wrap up, you know, the message of the film which ultimately is that relationships are far more important mm -hmm. than your differences and where you come from. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's the greatest currency. So, you know, just, we tried to harp on that message, yeah. uh, you know, of, of it's enough to be together with yeah. somebody that you love, to have experiences with them and to, to create new memories. Yes, because experiences are always better shared with yes. others, especially with the ones you love. Yeah. And, um, I love singing that song. It's such a timeless, classic piece. It's original. If I was not on the song and I just only heard it as someone sitting and listening, I wouldn't know that it, it was made today. 
you know, and that's the beautiful job that you guys both did um, on it and, and us working together to create that. It was super important because you want all the songs to gel well together and it to feel like a cohesive um, through line. 